this is a quick tutorial for Substack app. If you just got an invitation to download this app, Substack, and you have no idea where to go about, this is the video for you. Let me walk you through after you download the app. Because the registration is so simple, all you need is to enter your email and answer the few questions. So I'll skip that and you can just go ahead register if you just download the app. When you open the app, you will see like this. For demo, I use iPhone and it should be all the same with Android phone. And these are the publications, the newsletters you will receive in your inbox once you subscribe to any newsletter. These notes are just like posts, normal posts on Facebook, but for writers. So you will see writings and some pictures. I would say generally they are more knowledge sharing or thought sharing. So that's just the first section, okay? And you can see on the bottom, there are three different tabs. The middle one is the inbox. This contains everything you subscribe to. Like for example, I subscribe to all these newsletters and once they publish a new newsletter, it will be here for me to read, okay? And these are, if I pay any newsletter subscription, it will appear here. And here's what I saved. For example, this is Lenny's newsletter. When you see this icon preview, that means this post is designed for pay subscription only. If I tap there, I will see some of the posts, most probably. Usually they have the paywall to stop where you can read. So it has a lot of content, you see. And then at the end, you see this subscribers only. If you want to read more, then you have to go back here. Here has a button. You can see manage subscription. So if I tap on here, you cannot manage your subscription in the app. Okay, so I will have to go to my desktop version to able to manage my subscription to see how much per month or how much for a year they offer this subscription. In any publication, you can see bottom, there are some you can tap. Like if you really like it, give it a heart or you can leave a comment or you can share it. Okay, that's all very similar to Instagram or Facebook. But the big difference is you don't see ads in Substack. Okay, so that's very, very good. And saved, for example, if I like this post and I decided, oh, I want to read it later. And there's a three dot on the corner. You can just go there and you can either choose save or archive. Archive is it will put into your archive folder and you won't see it in the feed anymore. If you just save, it will be one of the save articles here. Okay, archive, it will go to, you see the profile icon here, you tap on it, you will see archive here. What you've archived, you will go here. Okay, and then media, that's the newsletter you subscribe to. And there's media, media meaning it's a podcast or a video, then it will come to this tab, media. You can see there are quite a few that I subscribe to. And uh, the last one, this one is chat. Every newsletter has a group, has a community. It's like a Facebook group. It's all built in for each and every publication. You can join the chat. Sometimes you see this lock, that means it's only for paid subscribers only. And if it's like this, it's open. Like you can see there are so many replies. And this is just uh, on Substack. I, this is one of the newsletters I subscribe to because I want to know what's a new feature and anything goes on. This is Substack writers. And direct message. You can message to anyone you like if they turn on message. Okay. And I can just tap on it and just say hi. And anyone who you subscribe to will... Be on the list, I think, new messaging. These are the people I subscribe to and they will be on my list and I can send them a new message if I want to. And Substack is such a great place to learn new things like news outlet or what's going on in the world or you're into art, you're following this artist or this musician, you'll get to know their journey and read their writing. And loads of great writers here. On the top is a search. For example, if I want to search some food publications, something about food, you see food diva and fooding. You can, these are the people I can follow. Follow is different than subscription. People you follow, their notes will appear here, but you will not get the subscription like here or inbox. You're not getting these. 
if you just follow the person and you follow the person, you get the notes they write. You'll see that on your feed. And also, you see Sarah. I haven't subscribed to her yet, or I didn't follow her. But I did follow Tiffany. So what Tiffany restack restack just share in Facebook because she restacked it. So I see her post now. So this one Anna. I haven't subscribed to her. I haven't followed her yet. But I can see her note already, just because Substack will according to what you like, your interests, and give you the fee that something that you possibly would like. So you have more chance to find new publication or new people to follow, like things you like. And I think it's a great feature. You don't just scroll and keep seeing ads. That's something I really like about Substack. This is designed for readers, so on the tab you can easily find different type of publication, and also this notification bell that if anyone reply to my comments or react to my notes,、uh, I will get notification. And you can see this orange plus here. Here is for you to write a note. You can write a note and share with the world, and、uh, people will see it. And it's quite incredible. Here it has three options. You can just add a photo, add video, or take a photo. Okay, and you can set anyone can reply or only my pay subscribers. I have a publication, so that's an option. Okay, Substack is a platform free of ads, and they are very supportive to writers. And for freelance writers, they can monetize their writing by. Offering subscription to readers, Substack makes money only when writers make money. They take ten percent from the subscription that writers get. If you like a newsletter publication, if you like the writing, consider to subscribe to the pay version. So you will be able to support the writer. But if you're not ready for that, there are plenty. Of free subscriptions you can read, and I think most of、uh, writers they offer free and pay versions. So you can go and check out their free publication. And if you really love the writing, you want to dive in more. Yes, go ahead to see what paid subscriptions they offer. This app is built for readers. You can subscribe to any type of publication and as many as you like. So this is just a quick tutorial about this app. I hope this help you to navigate through the app. It seems a little bit complicated, but it should be fun to use. And you can read so many interesting things and people's thoughts. These are designed for people who like to read and who want to dive in a little bit deeper. I would say it's not just friends and family sharing pictures. This is more of thought sharing, idea sharing. I hope this tutorial help you. Thanks for watching. It's Lily Amanda, and I'll see you in the next video.